What's going on guys? This is Malcolm and you are on MBD Survival and Bushcraft. Um, today is going to be a special video. Actually what I'm going to do is share with you guys a lot of my tools, a lot of my multi-tools, knives, uh, gear, stuff like that that I've accumulated over the years. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, when I really took a look, it's, it's a lot. So I'm going to try to go through this as quickly as I can. But just go ahead, sit back, relax, and this is what I got. All right, so I'm going to try to keep this camera as steady as possible. I actually have it sitting inside of a clay pot, believe it or not. <laughs> a clay pot, believe it or not. All right, first, you know, I got to start off with my two. Um, got to start off with my two light sources. These, these have come in quite handy over the years, I won't lie. I took the batteries out because they're recharging. All of my batteries are rechargeable, let's just say that. You know, these, um, they're made by Bell Howell. They take three AA batteries. Um, works really well, very bright. If your power goes out, you can open, that, you can open it up just a little bit and it'll be enough light. To, uh, to see through whatever that situation is. So I'm very happy with these. I've had these for about three or four years and they've worked great. This is a little fire kit that I put together. Uh, company is called Fast Tech. That's where I got this bag from. It's a very simple bag. But what I decided to do um, I got, a, I got this little branch from outside and I was practicing my feather sticking. So I was like, why throw all those nice shavings away? I'm gonna go ahead and keep those. So I got that in here. I have that here inside of um, the bag. Also, I have the, um, you know, a ferro rod, ferro cerium rod with a striker. Um, I actually got two of them on here. Cause sometimes this thing wants to act funny. It's 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 pretty old. Like you can tell how 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 many times I've striked it. I need to get another one, but it'll still work. So that's why I keep it, keep that in there. Um, of course, I have a small lighter in there. Good just to have that. Uh, this thing right here will allow you to blow fire. It's a retractable uh, thing, so. You can blow it into your fire and increase the flame, the oxygen that you need for the fire. Works very well. Have that as a part of my fire kit. And I also have a lot of fatwood. This fatwood, I was able to purchase it from, I think, um, was it Home Depot? It might have been Home Depot or, or, or um, yeah, I think it was Home Depot. Not Home Depot, Lowe's. I can't even remember where it was, bro. But I got, I got all of this fat wood, and this is like maybe, this is this isn't even a fourth of the fat wood I was able to get. But it was like six bucks. So this is a fire kit that I keep inside of my pack, and I'm gonna show you guys the pack that I keep this inside of a little bit later. Haven't had to pull it out and use it yet, but it is there and it's inside of my bag, ready to go. This is my baby right here, my Becker BK9. Um, I think this is the Becker B, yep. Becker BK9, I need to clean it because I was just out in the woods not too long ago. This bad boy is a beast. Um, you can also get the uh, micarta handles on here, the scales. These are the ones that came with it. They're a little bit slippery, I will admit, but they're okay. You know, it's not it's not that it's not a deal breaker. They have a slight uh, pummel on the end of this. Uh, you can't necessarily hammer anything with this, but it's it's got a lot of weight to it. It's thick. Um, 
I don't know the exact diameter of this, but um, this blade is very, very sharp. And this knife is extremely strong. It's got this um, really nice black coating on it. The back of it is not a not a complete 90, de 90 degree spine, so it's not like you're gonna be able to um, uh, strike a ferro rod, but there is a little bit of jimping back here so you can kind of choke up if you need to um, do some feather sticking or something like that. This thing cuts through wood, like, I mean, throws chips. You will be surprised and I've seen videos of when people have tried to destroy this thing. It is virtually impossible to destroy it. Great knife, Becker BK9. I recommend that you go out and get one ASAP. And so this is the sheath. This sheath, uh, it's a black sheath. What I've done is I've actually added a silky pocket boy in here with the fine tooth. It fits right perfectly into this uh, pouch right here and that's actually one of the reasons why I got this knife because because of this front little pocket and there's actually an even smaller pocket in here that you can fit um, a small neck knife even but yeah this is my silky pocket boy I know you guys have heard of pocket boys this is the fine tooth one I don't see really I don't really see a lot of people talking about the fine teeth this will still cut really well it's good to have um, especially if you're just taking down small trees and things like that. So this fits perfectly in here. You just pull this back, bring this right over here, attach this to your belt. You have essentially everything you need to go out and do whatever you need to do. I love this. I really, really do. This is extremely old. This thing could easily be 10, 15 years old. It's a crank flashlight. You know, the light is very dim, but it's got this little, uh, what is that called? Is that a, not a lanyard hold, but um, I guess that is a little lanyard. But um, yeah, it, it's, it's very old. I'm pretty sure that they've come out with upgraded versions of this, made by Energizer, but I'm not mad at them because it's old, but it still works. It doesn't have a battery in it. You crank it in order to give it energy. But I'm pretty sure this is gone. I'm pretty sure this battery runs out quite quickly. But it's good to know that you can have that if the power were to go out. If you were facing an SHTF situation where you had no power for a while, you could always crank this and have light. This belongs to my dad. It's a, it's, a, it's a Fiskars. It's a very old, it's a sort of an old saw. It's a 10 inch saw. Um, you know, when your dad has stuff laying around the house in the garage, you're like, let me hold that. He's like, yeah, go ahead, but bring it back. And then you start researching and realizing that your dad has a lot of the old cool stuff. Fiskars. Fiskars is great. Um, I do need to clean up the blade um, and oil it down. I want to take this out in the woods. I haven't had a chance to yet, but I will definitely be doing that. Shout out to Pops. This, I think this is called the Moore uh, Edra. Um, Edrin, I think, I can't remember the name. Let me see. Moore, uh, it's not on here. I think it's called the Moore Edra. But anyway, I kind of, I kind of freaked this one out a little bit. I got a marker, I cut the top of it out, I made it hollow so that I can put a ferro rod. Um, if you can see that, it's perfectly hollow through there. Wrap some uh, duct tape around it. I slide that right in there. Fits nice. The duct tape is also flammable. I have a little lanyard hole right here. Got a little bit of paracord, so I made it my neck knife. The cool thing about a more edger, and if you look at my blades, they're terrible. I need to get these cleaned up, man, because I was out trying to start a fire with this not too long ago, but I just forgot to clean it. But that's how you mess your knives up, guys, by not cleaning them on a regular basis. Anyway, this, <laughs> this knife right here feels so good in the hand. And I have pretty big hands. This is made out of rubber. Very, very nice. You can get a good grip. It has a, 
an extremely sharp 90 degree spine on here so you'll be able to um, that fat wood that, that I just showed you you'll be able to scrape pieces of that fat wood off spark it and light it up in no time great tool I think every one of you guys should go out and get it and you know I'm to the point now man where I think all knives should pretty much come with a 90 degree a 90 degree spine and a ferro rod attached Since we're doing knives, since we're doing knives, I might as well talk about my Becker BK2. This is also one of my favorite knives. Now, I don't know what this is, man, but something got on my knife. And I thought it was wax, but it doesn't come off as easy as I thought it would. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get this off. I bought the micarta scales for this one. They are a lot more grippy. A lot more rugged this this uh, this knife is thick it's extremely thick and I actually tried to square off that that back a little bit more because if you remember the Becker BK9 that I showed you this is the Becker BK2 made by the same company but it did not have that 90 degree spine and I actually tried to make a 90 degree spine on here and I did so I'm able to spark a ferro rod with this the knife is so thick that you'll be able to pry through a door with this. If you need to, there's pretty much nothing you can't do with this. Now it is huge. That is the downside. You know, you can't just be chopping and cutting and slicing all day long. Like my arm is getting a little bit tired just holding this. I got a really, really nice sheath online. Who is this made by? Carl Thomas Maker. Uh, out of Mississippi, I think. This this is great. This is a great uh, this is a great leather sheath, guys. It fits perfectly, perfectly with my Becker BK2. What I also did was I got a piece of um, Velcro, like the soft the soft side of the Velcro. I stuck it to here because what I was noticing was it makes it a lot easier to push and take that knife out. Now, it doesn't it doesn't look, I mean, it looks kind of crazy, I won't lie, but it, it does a great job. Of course, I got the ferro rod attached here. I just wrap it under, and you have everything you need right here in this tool. It's a great tool, nothing it can't do. This thing could even chop. It's got enough weight where you can chop off branches if you need to, uh, you know, clean up a piece of wood. And I absolutely love it. This is the Silky Big Boy. I told you guys that I wasn't playing. The Silky Big Boy is one of the, um, well, first of all, I love Silky and I know you guys do too. So let's, let's break it up. The Silky Big Boy, it's one of a kind. The blade, um, it cuts on the pull stroke. You can click it again, kind of come up like this. Make it on a little angle. It, um, you give a bunch of people these and just set them loose in the forest, and they can cut down an entire forest with these. It slices through like butter. I got the aggressive teeth. I got the aggressive teeth. Um, so it's not as easy to cut through as, say, a fine tooth saw, but it'll cut through it a lot quicker if you know what you're doing. And with silk is you can take your time. I ended up getting this sheath. This sheath did not come with this knife. I mean with this saw. I actually bought this sheath separate. You know, it's got a hole in the bottom so you'll be able to drain if any water gets in there. It's got a belt. And this is actually detachable if you need it to be for, you know, to easily take it off. Um, it's a silky big boy. I love it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go into the woods for any extended period of time without it. I think it is, um, an SHTH, SHTF must have. And I absolutely love it. Okay. 
Now I'm going to get into some kind of obscure things right here real quick. Now this is from a company called Beavercraft. Now I bought this a while ago. I never you well, I kind of was playing around with it trying to make a spoon one time and it was a little more difficult than I thought. But this is a knife that is extremely sharp. And the idea is that you can grab this and cut into wood, as I'm sure most of you know. It's extremely sharp. It's got an extremely sharp tip. Um, one day, I'm going to go out in the woods and camp, and I'm going to make a spoon. That's what I'm going to do. And it's going to be a nice spoon. And I'm going to use this. Just haven't had a chance to do it. Um, does it have a sheath? No. <laughs> I don't know what sheath is going to hold this. I'm going to have to figure out how to protect this. I think I'll just put, maybe I'll just wrap a piece of um, uh, styrofoam or something around it and look out for it that way. But it's quality. It's strong. It'll cut. This is my charade. This is my charade. I actually got this. Um, I went to a um, went to a wilderness outdoor shop in Smyrna, out here in Georgia, and uh, I like to stop at those types of places, just look around. And I was pleasantly surprised to see this. I need to clean this one too. Been chopping um, this charade. Real nice uh, kukri, kukri style machete. Um, this is made out of rubber. That was one of the reasons why I got this because I felt like it was just a great grip. You can get a really good purchase. This back here is actually quite sharp. You could cut through something with this. You might be able to actually saw with this. It's not going to saw like a silky, obviously. The blade is a little bit thin, so as you're as you're trying to chop through wood, you know, a lot of times it is getting a little bit stuck. It's not just, you know, going straight through there like you would like, but it's lopping off those small branches pretty well. Good thing about this, this right here was only like $19.99, so you can't really beat that. I recommend that you go out and get you a charade. <sighs> Because if you get caught in the woods, if you have one of these, I think you'll be just fine. I told you I love Silky and I told you I wasn't playing. This is the Silky Nada. I Velcroed a more to the back of it. Um, okay, see, it got, this is supposed to just come off with the Velcro, but I'm going to put some new stuff on there. Um, more on the back. More companion. You already know. This knife. Um, this knife. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this knife, man. Other than that, it is almost... It's almost too good to be true. The fact that this knife is so strong. So inexpensive. And so uh, effective, it, it, it makes it, it makes a good thing. I actually ended up cutting off the little piece that attaches to your belt because I wanted to fit flush on the side of um, the silky knot. But let's take a look at this silky knot. When I saw it online, I had to get it. Whew. This this right here, man. I'm, I'm trying to tell you. It's thick. It's a Japanese blade. And um, it's one of those things, man, that, that when you hold it in your hand, you feel secure. You feel like you can pretty much go out there and do what you need to do in the woods. The special thing, man, this sheath, it, it's, a, it's an amazing looking sheath. It just looks cool. I just really like it. I really, really like it. Um, but, you know, these silky knotters, man, you can actually, and I'm going to show you something real quick if I can without taking up too much time. This thing will detach from its, uh, you can, you can take this thing off and like put it back together again. 
<clears throat> you can put another rubber handle on here. I'm not going to take it off. And it's not that difficult to take off, believe it or not. It's extremely thick and it's, it's carrying a lot of weight. When you hit a tree with this, you'll be surprised at how quickly it gets removed. That was the one thing I noticed. Now, I don't know what you call this, but I think it's a scandy ground on both sides. It's, it's cut to a point. It is sharp. So you got to be careful with this thing. Like I could just let this drop right now on the table. Boom, it'll stick. It'll stick right into this wood. So I'm not going to do that. But looking forward to taking that back out. Looking forward to taking that back out in the woods. The Silky Nada. I recommend everybody go get one. Go ahead and get you some Velcro and tape you a little more to the side of that thing. You see how I do that? Why don't they make them like this to begin with? I think we'd be happier, but I'm happy now. Wonderful product. I'm happy with it. This is a cold steel knife. Uh, nothing to write home about, but it was only like 15 bucks, so I had to get it. it comes with the kayak sheath. And, um, oh, no, 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 no. Let me let me backtrack. I apologize. Whew. Yeah. This was not 15 bucks. This is actually one of the best knives on the market. This is a cold steel. Um, it is a SK5. Yep. Cold steel SK5. I mean SRK. And it I haven't <coughs> I haven't had an opportunity to give it a lot of a lot of work. But just look at the profile of this blade. Extremely, extremely sharp. Um, 90 degree spine is, is nice. Although, since it has this coating, I'm not sure if it's going to be able to spark a ferro rod with this. Um, you know, this sheath is a little flimsy. So it's going to be kind of bouncing around on your hip. But look at the knife, man. I don't think this knife was any more than 30, 35 bucks. I don't know. 40, 35, 40 bucks. Look at that. Man, I'm telling you, this thing right here, this is a, um, because this is big enough to, this is big enough to do some chopping with. There's not a whole lot you can't do in the woods with this. This is a survival knife, in my opinion. Survival knife, and I can't wait to get it out. And, you know, be able to see what I can do. It's a nice package, man, and I'm glad I got it. I'm going to just go through this real quickly. Got another silky. Look at that. A little another silky, little silky pocket, boy. This is the medium teeth. And you can sleep on this if you want. Go ahead and sleep on it. I build an entire shelter. This thing is nice, man. It's, it's, it's nice to the point where you have to get a few of them. Now, I don't know exactly what this is. I guess this is a sheath, but what sheath have you seen looks like this? I don't know. I'm, I'm not too happy about this because you, you can't do anything with this. The best you can do is put this in your pack. But the fact that it's only 25 bucks or so um, I bought this a couple years ago. Everybody needs one. You have to have one. You could give this to your wife. Like, I mean, not to say that your wife can't use something bigger, but I'm just saying, like, you can give this to your kid almost. Like, this thing is perfect for, like, smaller hands or, or you know, um, getting into those hard-to-reach places or whatever. And, you know, it's got a very low profile. Silky. They do great things. Now this is the knife that I thought I was talking about previously. It's a Remington. I love the way they have this set up. Now mind you, this knife was like 15 bucks. I love how they have that little part where you can just press there. And you know, I shaved this down to a 90 degree spine as well. I like the profile of this knife. It's a good looking knife. Um, kind of slender. I like something that's a little with a little more 
um, that fills up my hand a little bit more, but it feels good, you know, um, for a knife like this, when I saw that it was only 15 bucks, I had to get it. I think it's just one of those things that you can put inside of a day pack. Um, you can put inside one of your go bags and you can keep it moving. The sheath is a very hard kydex and I like it. This is very practical. Um, it's not flopping all around. You know where it is. And it's not a huge knife either. You know, I like it. It's a very, um, it's very slick. It's very slick. I feel like a lot of thought got put into, like, how do we make the profile of this thing? Like, the footprint. Like, how do we make it a small footprint? I just like it. And Remington did a good job. You know, they've been around a long time. I told you I love Silky, and I, once again, I told you I wasn't playing. Now, a lot of you guys probably knew what I was coming with when, you, when, when I kept popping out with all those Silkies, but, <sighs> yep. I'm slipping, man. I got to clean my stuff. Yep, that bad boy is a piece of steel. It's a hunk of steel. It's the Silky Ono. <clears throat> the Silky Ono. Now, this stuff is made in Japan, guys. So when you see something like this and you're like, wow, that looks strange. That's because it is strange. It's strange in a good way. You're not going to see. You just don't see things like this. This thing is so heavy. And this cutting edge is so large. Man, you get out there chopping with this thing. And it's, I mean, you'll be astounded by how fast you just lop off branches with this thing. Beautiful blade. And what I was trying to explain to you guys earlier, the same way, is that it, <sighs> I'm not going to waste a whole lot of time doing this. Maybe I need to do it from this end. Yeah, there you go. See, you can see it's a full tank construction. You can literally just kind of pop this thing off. If I can manage not to cut myself. And then put that right back on. For some reason, I don't think I did that right. Let me try that again. Put that back. Hmm. Let me get that right. Anyway, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time with this. All right, so evidently this piece goes in first. So that clicks up underneath there. There you go. And then you can go ahead and click all of that together. Now, I probably should not have done that. I wasted a little bit of time, but it's all good. I think we're on about 28 minutes. I told you we're going to be here for a minute, and we ain't done either. Comes with a nice sheath. This sheath clicks to your belt. I think it is a excellent purchase. But what you start what you start realizing, man, is that like when it's time to go out in the woods, you're like, what do I want to bring? You know, what do I want to pair? Because when you have, you know, so many different tools, you know, you want to try out different pairs and see what you like the best. But this, this is a great hatchet. Um, you can hook it to your belt, the Silky Ono, and go get one. And I apologize for not telling you guys the prices on a lot of these things, because I don't really have them all listed right now. I think that Silky Ono was about 80 bucks. Now I'm gonna start getting into some other uh, interesting items. This is a little day pack. A little day pack that I keep in my car. I'm gonna see if I can go through this really quickly. Right here, I got two lighters. Up top right here, got some paracord. 
over here. I have a whistle. Over here. Go on top right here. Got a multi-tool. This is a mossy oak. Got it online. Nothing to write home about. I really don't like, I really do not like the way that the tools are not accessible from the outside, but that's okay because this multi-tool is only about 18, 19 bucks. I mean, it's not super cheap, but I love the fact that it was, um, you know, uh, camouflage. You know, you got a, you got a saw. I don't know what, I guess that's a saw. You got a lot of other little things in here. I guess this is a, that's not an all, an all but Phillips head, flathead. I'm gonna just do this real quick, guys. You got the all, um, another flathead right here. You have a um, file right in there. And you have the knife, oh, no, can opener and bottle opener. And where is the knife? Did I talk about the knife? Oh, the knife, nothing to write home about. It's actually quite small, but it's there. It's the mossy oak, and you can have it when you need it. So you got that. I'm gonna keep going through here. Make this quick. Right here we have now. This is a uh, the very thick plastic trash bags, and I figured that something like this can be used as you know in a, in a, in a, a situation where maybe there's torrential rains and you need to figure out how you're going to stay dry. Or maybe you need to hurry up and make a shelter somewhere and it's pouring down rain. What are you going to do? Well, you got this. Always keep them more with you. They're cheap and they work really well. This is, I think, another companion with the Army Green. I love it. We also have, I told you I love silkies. Here's another one. It's a pocket boy. I'm not going to go into any, any more detail on that. We have another pocket on the inside. I don't have anything in there. Got something on the back right here. This is actually, um, I got this from AutoZone. It's super like stiff now, but when this thing is wet, it's so absorbent. It's ridiculous. Like people use stuff like this to dry off their entire car and then they just wring it out and it's like a gallon of water. But anyway, this is what I have been keeping in the car as just something very simple. Uh, you know, and I love it. It makes me feel a little more prepared than if I did not have it. Because everybody thinks, um, nobody thinks the worst. And I'm not saying that that's what you should be thinking about, but um, I'm a big believer in, in, in thinking about what should go wrong just so you can mitigate any crazy situations. Now, this is a rock sign, another multi-tool. I'm gonna be real quick with this. This bad boy is nice. I'm gonna do a review, a full review on that. I've actually done a full review on this. But um, I'm going to look back through this in detail. Very nice multi-tool. This is actually the Becker BK2 sheath that came with it originally. I didn't like it because it was flopping all around, so I got that new leather sheath. You can just rewind and look back. But, yeah, I don't want to throw it away for some reason. I think I might still use it for something. I don't know yet. Ended up getting a life straw. Haven't used it yet. This is a survival tool. That will allow you to drink dirty water, basically, and it'll turn it clean. I think everybody needs one of these. It's like $5. Comment down below, man. Is this a gimmick? I haven't seen anybody drinking from it. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but, I mean, if it works, hell. I mean, seems like it'd be pretty good to have. I got a compass. Um, I decided to, you know, spend a little money and not get the cheap, cheap compass. Now I just got to figure out how to use it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is a compass. It is a very quality compass. And I know some things about a compass, but a compass is not something for the faint of heart. You got to know what you're doing if you really want to be able to use it. 
And that just is what it is. <clears throat> just because you know what north, south, east, and west is, that don't mean you're getting home. This is also a Remington. I got this from a gun show maybe seven, eight years ago. So this knife is old. Um, it's really good, though. It's got a little serrated edge in there. Um, the scales on this thing are, are interesting. It's like everything is made out of metal. So it's just, it's cold. It's, it's, it's good, though. I like it. It's, it's, uh, it's just, it's got that old school vibe. Like that, that granddaddy vibe. You know what I mean? I like it. I can't remember what I paid for it. But if it feels at a gun show, you know. And I was new to knives. This might have been one of my first knives, God. This might have been my first knife, man. Hmm, I never thought about that. This, this, this might have been my first real knife. Yep. So this was actually going back maybe... I said six or seven, but nah, it's been way more. Because if this was my first knife, this might have been 10, this might have been, this might be 15 years old. I got started kind of late, I did. I don't know what bit me, it was a bug that bit me and all of a sudden all I wanted was not, you know, these little knives. Anyway, this is a little Gerber. Um, I hate to say it, but it's, it's slight trash, it is. Um, you can't, there's definitely no one hand opening, I mean, you could if you just really, uh, you really had to, I guess. But, you know, it's so small. And then the whole blade is like serrated. I think I got this from Sam's one time because they had a special where you can get three at the same time. And then when it comes time to try to close it, it's like it's hard to. It's like when I'm trying to push on this thing, it's it, it's just cumbersome. Um, but again, you know, if you're out and you don't have anything, you would rather have this. This is more of a tool. It's not really a survival item. Um, all it basically is, is you open this up and you got a lot of bits. You got a lot of bits and it's magnetized so that when you're ready <clears throat> to put this in there, boom. You're good. And I went ahead and got this. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on that. But I like it. Got another more. I think this is the one of the first mores that they came out with. Uh, it's been battered and bruised quite a bit. Um, <laughs> you know, um, it is what it is. It still cuts. This is still extremely sharp. It's still extremely sharp. Got another multi-tool, got a work pro. This work pro is maybe $17 and it's amazing. You're not supposed to get this quality for that amount of money. Spring loaded. I'm gonna do a full video on this, but it's good. It's good guys, got a great sheath. One thing I've noticed, man, um, a lot of these companies that make tools that have a whole line of tools. They make great multi-tools. And a lot of times, they make great knives too. And a lot of times, the, the steel that they use is steel, is a, the steel that they use is tool steel. Now it's a little bit harder to get an edge on tool steel, but tool steel tends to be extremely sharp. I mean, extremely strong, like a, basically like a hammer or like a file or something like that, that same type of steel. And uh, it's worked well for me. This is another more, I keep this, this is like one of the first mores. And this is, this is just slick, man. I love, I just love the way this wood, the way this feels. Um, I keep this in my fishing bag. I keep this in my fishing bag, I don't know why, I just, this just looks like a good knife to take fishing. You know what I mean? It's not like we're eating the fish out there when we go, but um, it's a more, I like this little logo right here. I don't know if that's the more logo, I guess it is, but this is an old knife. This knife came out, this probably was one of the first ones that came out and it's great.
got another work pro this is another uh work pro multi-tool you know i'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it the interesting thing about this is that it's got a light on it so and it's got a light on both sides so we'll talk about that in another video i'm gonna show you something about that as well uh, da, 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 da. i got a lot of stuff man um this is another one of those knives that came with that Gerber set. Looks great, but just in terms of practi practically being able to deploy it, it's a little difficult, but it's better than the last one. Nice looking knife. Um, this is probably the best one out of the lineup, but nice little EDC. I got this. I mean, this is kind of, kind of weird, but, you know, it's just a place you can keep your little bamboo utensils or whatever um i might refashion this into something else that i can use for something else i don't know it feels just kind of loose i think there was some other stuff in here that fell out i don't know what happened to it whatever this is also something i'm going to do a review on in a lot more detail. It's a little grill. It's a little grill, guys. This thing is excellent. It's excellent. You put that on top and you are good to go. Put some wood in there boom it doesn't have a top but why do you need a top get that close that back up these legs kind of it's a little tricky but they kind of flip up underneath each other like that close it up like this put this with this and then you begin to put it back inside of the pouch Now, as you can clearly see, um, I probably have a slight problem when it comes to buying so many tools. I definitely need to own Amazon stock at this point. But um, guys, I'm gonna stop right there, man. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching the channel. Um, you know, my name is Malcolm. I decided to call the channel MBD survival and bushcraft just because i don't know i like the name um i'm out of atlanta subscribe to the channel let me know what you want me to talk about next and i'm gonna holler at you guys next time peace like the video too